going to do it a bit differently. I'm going for a contrasting flip cup. So I'll fill up two cups at least. Um, I'll see where I'll go from there. But I have my colors selected. I really want a strong contrast. And of course, my fluorescent colors are here. And I want the strong contrast under the black light as well. So let's get started. Just gonna start by prepare my preparing my colors for mixing. So I'm not doing that big of a painting, and what I'll do is just mix a little bit of each color, and then for the dirty pour flip cup, I'm going to pour them into cups and then flip it. So, with a high flow acrylics, you don't need all that much, and I should put gloves on, because, yeah, I'll do that, I'll be right back. I'm back, I have gloves, my hands are uh, protected, because I always make a mess. And, other last color for the warm side. Yeah, so it's a bit of a contrast between colors, but also between warm and cold colors. Except the green is a bit warm, but it's gonna contrast nicely, you'll see. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. So a bit of a recap, the fluorescent blue is this, Dollar Rani, green is the same, my orange is Hibio, and I used high flow acrylics golden for the rest of the colors. Uh, I'm also going to mix white, I like to use uh, Liquitex ink and uh, a bit of black, just a little bit, because black is tricky, very tricky. This is the end of it. This is a sad moment, but I'm going to create something nice. So, and I, I can always buy more, right? So, here we have it. Our paints are ready to be mixed. I don't know where I put my pour medium. I see it over there. <laughs> There it is! Here's my pouring medium! So what I use is Golden GAC800 It's a great medium, it prevents cracking and crazing and it really gives a nice shine and a nice texture to the paint. So for the high flow, uh, high body acrylic, the fluorescent ones, what I do is about 50-50.
for the high flow or inks they're pretty much the same I use about 10 part to 1 part so 10 part medium to 1 part paint That's barely a drop, so I really don't need that much. There we go. forgot to put medium in my white. I put quite a bit of white because of course you get the most effect from the white. It has the heaviest pigment density here so it will tend to sink in the other colors and the other colors while popping up will create nice effects. And it's time to mix! Okay, in my high body acrylics, I will add about 30% water. So it has the right texture. And it also helps with the cells and the effects because it changed. Um, the density of the paint. This one matches me. My friend today he decided to match my paint. This color I'm really curious about. I don't use it that often. So I'm not too sure how it will act and I'm not too sure on the density of the pigments in it. In it. It's a um, golden nickel azul gold. It's kind of orange-ish. Let's see how it looks. Just gonna put a couple of drops of water in those. It's very tricky when you mix white to make sure that it's well mixed, so very often I just over mix it to make sure. Okay, so my paint... Am I eating my hair? Yes, thank you. My paints are mixed and I'm gonna let them rest for about 10-15 minutes to let the bubbles escape. So they will have time to rise to the surface uh, by a Surface? Surface? Surface. Surface. They will have time to, ri to rise to the surface by themselves and just get out of the paint. So when I pour, I don't have those little pin head bubbles. I don't like those. And yeah, that's it. So I'll be back in about 10-15 minutes. See ya! Okay guys! Hello, we're back! Um, it's been 15 minutes for me, uh, the paints are rested, the bubbles have pretty much risen to the top or all the biggest ones are popped, that's good. So let's, let's go. I decided that I would do three cups and I'm going to start by pouring white into the bottom of each because since I'm going to flip it, the white will end up on top and the white has the heaviest density. And it will 
hopefully create cells and nice effects. Looking good. In one of the cup, I'm only going to put some black and white. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to keep this one for last. So, our cups are one with warm color and one with cold color. So, we contrast between two sides the two cups. We'll see. I'm going to start with the blue, the not fluorescent, non fluo, fluo blue. And I'm going to pour it slowly so it stays on top of the white. Then I'm going to put the fluo blue. Slowly, 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 it stays on top. It didn't really stay on, stay on top. Whoa. And then the green. Start with the nickel as a gold. I think it, it should be the one with the heaviest density, or near anyway, to the red. Slowly. And finally, a fluorescent. Okay, and my last cup, just going to put the black in slowly, of course. Just a tiny bit of black, otherwise the black will take over and we don't want the black to take over, so we put just a tiny bit. I'm pretty much ready, so what I'm going to do is put what I'm using to paint on. It's an old vinyl I found at the yard sale. Okay, so plan here is to flip all three cups and I may need help for, um, from my third arm here. <laughs> Hello. So. I'm right. going to hold on to one and flip the thing and you hold on to the two and you which, push. Which direction are you flipping? There. Okay, okay. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Remove them. Go, go, go. Okay. Just going to tilt. Want me to put the cups? Under, yes, please. Don't ruin paint on me. I'll try.
actually actually guys this is turning out pretty pretty nice as is I really like how the cells are coming through here and here I'm going to pop the bigger bubbles right away So I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes. I think it's gonna keep changing a bit, but we yeah, have some nice, very nice details. I'm very happy with um, the blue here, the line and the orange line just on top and all those cells in the orange. It's wonderful. I love it. Couldn't be happier with it, um, except the black, it kind of disappeared, but it's fine. I think it gives it a, a nice look because it's very colorful and yeah, very, very happy, very happy. So um, remember how I put fluorescent colors in there? I'm going to switch one of my lights and I'm going to show you guys um, how it looks under fluorescent. Uh, well black light so yeah I'll do that I'll be back okay guys I'm back and well let's check that out turn off the light camera might take a little bit to adjust but we should see it. Oh, let's let me turn it up. Artfish, please. Well, I'm more flashy than my actual cameras. But yeah, you can see around here the fluorescent blue and green. And <clears throat> here you can see in the cells the orange. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Yep. So you can see <laughs> what uh, I was going for, uh, the contrast in daylight, but also under black light, the contrast between the blue and the orange on the both sides, it's pretty. It's a bit of a contrast in texture as well. The blue is a bit messier, while the orange is more organized cells. Well. This was uh, interesting. I'm very happy I tried it. Um, the contrast uh, that resulted is very, very striking, uh, especially under the black light with the orange and the blue that glows like that. Um, thank you guys for joining, uh, watching, and make sure to subscribe and follow me for more. Thank you. Bye. Look at that. Aren't those amazing? I'm try I'm gonna try and keep them and make something with them. We'll see. I have plans.